This is a uh, review of some Samsung LED tail lamps that I found on eBay that I was pretty happy with. It's uh, actually this guy right here. There's 18 uh, surface mount LEDs in this. Uh, I looked at another type before. Uh, this guy here. And then just for comparison, here's the uh, standard incandescent. So the, the deal with the Samsung bulbs, or, or why I'm so happy with them, is the current is actually regulated for one. So... It, you know, it's going to pull basically the same amount of power whether it's uh, 10 volts on the battery or 12 volts and the LEDs are going to be fully utilized um, so it's not like they had to design the bulb to accommodate 15 volts and then when you're running at 12 it's it's a lower light output uh, the other thing I like about them is I tried these first which uh, you can see they're quite a bit longer uh, no problem fitting in the housing on a, on a Prius but the problem is, is there's not enough uh, slack in the wire to plug this in and then get back into the housing. Uh, like I said, the other issue is the, the uh, side facing LEDs. The current is just a uh, resistor dropped on those and then there's one in the end that actually is regulated. But uh, that's kind of a small percentage of the, the total mix. Whereas the uh, Samsung here, the uh, full deal is regulated. There's three facing out uh, and I you know I threw it on my bench and I'll, I'll go through that real quick too just to see how they performed so this is a uh, 12 volts right at the bulb bulbs over here uh, 375 milliamps but you'll see if I go up in voltage the current's actually going to drop because it's there's a, a buck converter in there or whatever regulating the the current for the leds uh, back to let's, let's put it around 13 volts which would be or maybe close to a fully charged battery even though the the Prius actually runs about 14 and a half volts when it's fully charged but so at 13 volts looking at 332 milliamps that's going to drop as the leads heat up just because the four voltage goes down but all right I'm going to call it 330 that's a uh, 4.29 watts all right and I've got a spreadsheet over here just to cheat with set up at 4.29 watts if I throw the flashes on given that there's four of these running um, if I assume a 50% duty cycle on the flashers, that would be about a, a 53 hour run time if there was no other load on the car. Because uh, the Prius has a small auxiliary battery, it's not it's not this huge battery that always has to start the car like a regular, you know, like my truck has for instance. If you compare that to the run time on the, uh, the 21 watt incandescent, that is 10.8 hours. So and you can see the bulb over there. It's bright as heck. Um, there's three in the end. I got these off of eBay under uh, the seller's name was C E R E S Imports 08. Uh, but if you just look for the ones that, that say they have the Samsung LEDs and then there's 18 of them and they look roughly like this, you're probably good to go. The other thing I was worried about. Uh, a lot of the cheap LED bulbs that you get, if there are switchers in there, there's no filtering on the front end. So this would almost be a square wave. Let me zoom in on that just a bit. This is terrible. I could just take a screenshot with the scope, but so it's about 68, 70 milliamps of peak-to-peak -peak ripple current out of 314. So there is some filtering on the bulb. So I'm, you know, I'm hoping that doesn't scramble my radio. I really don't think it will. Uh, and it's switching at, let's see. Do a little bit of math on that. The Tektronix scope doesn't do a good job at pulling out the frequency so 3.44 microseconds for the period about 290 kilohertz and uh, because I guess uh, 
guess that's it for now. Maybe I'll go show you how they did in the car. Um, when you do change over to an LED bulb, and the other good thing is they're impact resistant, right? <laughs> You've got to um, change over to an electronic flasher if you want to avoid the hyper flashing. And there's some uh, good video in Prius chat on how to change out that flasher, and it is a it's a pain in the, the butt. Uh, anyhow, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll splice this into the the video on how they actually do in the car, or uh, just just post two separate videos. Thanks.